ഹലോ ആൻഡ് നമസ്തേ വെൽക്കം ടു ടെമ്പിൾസ് ബുക്സ് ആൻഡ് സയൻസ് ഐ ഹാവ് സ്പോക്കൻ സെവറൽ ടൈംസ് ഓൺ ദിസ് ചാനൽ അബൌട്ട് ദി ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി ടു നോബേൽ പ്രൈസ് ഫോർ ഫിസിക്സ് വിച്ച് വാസ് അവാർഡ് ടു സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റ് ഹു പ്രൂവ് ദ വേൾഡ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് റിയൽ ടുഡേ ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു ടോക്ക് ടു യു അബൌട്ട് ദ ആക്ച്വൽ പ്രൂഫ് ഹൗ എക്സാക്ട്ലി ഡിഡ് ദീസ് സയൻറ്റിസ്റ്റ് പ്രൂവ് ദ വേൾഡ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് റിയൽ വാട്ട് എക്സാക്ട്ലി ഡിഡ് ദ ഡൂ ടു പ്രൂവ് ദിസ് ഫാക്ട് in order to understand this we have to begin with the very first and the most consequential finding of quantum physics particles have no real existence until they are observed when we imagine an atom this is the image that pops up in our head every particle in this picture has a specific shape and size and location quantum physics says that none of these properties exist until someone like you and me attempts to measure these properties say for example you spot an electron in a location that electron did not exist at all until you tried to look at it it is your observation that causes the electron to acquire a shape size and location it is your observation that brought it into existence Let us take a moment to think about this. When something comes into existence only when you see it and does not exist when you don't see it, what would you call it? An illusion, a hallucination, a dream? In effect, you must conclude that whatever you are seeing is not real. This is not just a layman's view. Physics itself gives a clear definition for reality. real things have objective existence they do not just exist in your mind let's say this is my phone how do i know it is real i know it is real because it exists even when i'm not looking at it anyone can see it not just me and everyone who sees it will agree on its shape size color and other attributes This is how physics defines reality. Real things have objective independent existence outside of a person's mind. By this definition, fundamental particles which are the building blocks of the entire universe are not real. Particles exist only when you see them and they do not exist when you don't see them. they appear to be a projection of your mind like any other illusion that you experience in fact quantum physics has been claiming that the world is not real from the very beginning here's what niels bohr one of the founders of quantum physics said everything that we call real is made up of things that cannot be regarded as real if quantum mechanics hasn't profoundly shocked you you haven't understood it yet However there were many scientists including Einstein who were skeptical about this finding Einstein had an alternate explanation for this bizarre behavior of particles he said that there must be some hidden property of nature that we have not yet discovered because we are missing this key piece of information particles appear unreal to us let me explain this with an analogy Let us assume a particle is a ball which can either be black or white. In this analogy, color represents all the properties that a particle can have like shape, size, location, momentum, etc. Einstein said that the ball is created either white or black and stays that way. It never ceases to exist. then why does it look like it does not exist at all until we see it that is because the ball is hidden in a black box as it were this box has a mysterious property that makes it invisible when we make an observation this box opens and we see the particle as it always was when no one is observing this black box closes and it looks like the particle has disappeared if we can understand the nature of this box which is hiding the particle then we will discover that the particle always existed 
On the other hand, quantum physics claim that there is no box at all. Particles appear only when you see them and cease to exist when you don't see them. Physics was deadlocked between these two explanations. Quantum physics which claim that particles do not exist until they are observed. Einstein who claimed they do exist whether we see them or not. We just need to find the missing information that is hiding them from us. How do you prove which side is correct? The very act of observation brings particles into existence. By their very nature, it is impossible to observe what happens before the particles appear. How do you prove which theory is right in this scenario? While this argument was raging, a bizarre set of particles called entangled particles were discovered. Entangled particles are like twins which mirror each other's behavior. If one pair of the twin has certain properties, then the other pair will have the exactly opposite set of properties. For example, if one is spinning in clockwise direction, the other will spin in anti-clockwise direction. Even if they are separated by millions of miles, they will mirror each other's properties instantaneously. Now, scientists were in a unique position to observe one particle and see what happens to the other. It gave an opportunity for scientists to observe a particle without actually observing it. This unique property of entangled particles provided an opportunity to prove which side of the argument is right. Let us now go back to our ball analogy. Let us think of a particle as a ball which can either be black or white. In the case of entangled particles, if one ball is white, the other ball has to be black. Let us look at how quantum physics explains this phenomenon. Let us assume you have created the entangled particles and placed them in two separate boxes. Before you have made an observation, neither particle exists. So what is inside those boxes? It is impossible to say. You can only say that the two boxes do not contain any real particles. Particles come into existence only when you open a box. When you open one box and let's say you see a white ball, at that exact instant, the black ball appears in the second box. As soon as you observe one particle and bring it into existence, the other particle instantly appears as if they were joined together by some invisible thread. This would happen instantly, even if they are separated by millions of light years. Einstein vehemently disagreed with this conclusion. His own theory of relativity proved that nothing could travel faster than the speed of light. The behavior of entangled particles suggests that information is being shared between these two particles faster than the speed of light. How is this possible? So he came up with an alternate explanation for their behavior. He claimed the color of the ball is determined and fixed at the time of their creation. One is black and the other one is white. There is no ambiguity about their property. They exist as black and white balls in their separate boxes. It is these boxes that hide them because of their strange property. The particles never cease to exist. When you open one box and discover that it is a white ball, you automatically know that the other box must contain the black ball. You did not create the white ball or the black ball by observing it. Observing one ball simply provides you with information about the other one. That's it. There is no creation happening here. Let's summarize. Quantum physics says that nothing exists inside the boxes until you observe them. It is your observation that creates the particles. Einstein says, Particles always exist. They never cease to exist. They are merely hidden by the boxes. When you observe them, you are peering through the boxes and seeing them. Your observation has nothing to do with their existence.
again there was a deadlock situation then another brilliant scientist called john stuart bell came up with an ingenious solution to settle this argument he said it is possible to prove which theory is correct using statistics he came up with a famous theorem called bell's inequality which looks like this I have provided a link to another video that gives a detailed explanation for this theorem in the description below. Here is a very simplistic explanation. So far we have only seen what happens if you open one box. The particle in the other box instantly appears with the opposite set of properties. Now let's assume there are two people looking at both the boxes at exactly the same time. There is one person X peeping into the first box and another person Y peeping into the second box at the exact same instant. What will they see? You ask X and Y to note whether they see a black ball or a white ball and write down their observations. You ask them to repeat this thousands of times and tabulate their observations. Here you have two tables one with x's observation and the other with y's observation you feed this data into bell's theorem if einstein's theory is right the left hand side of the equation will be less than or equal to the right hand side of the equation on the other hand if quantum physics is right the left hand side of the equation will have a higher value than the right hand side That's why this theorem is called Bell's inequality. Although Bell proposed this several years back, it was not possible to prove it experimentally. It was close to impossible to set up an experiment to make observations like Bell proposed due to several reasons. That brings us to these three brilliant experimental physicists: Alain Aspect, John Clauser, and Anton Zeilinger. they came up with experiments that made it possible to observe the two entangled particles in a manner that bell proposed the data that emerged from these experiments categorically proved that quantum theory was in fact right particles come into existence only when they are observed they cease to exist when nobody is observing them their experiments proved einstein himself wrong which goes to show the sheer brilliance of these experiments these experiments with entangled particles basically proved what quantum physics has been proclaiming from the very beginning particles do not exist until they are observed it is the act of observation that brings them into existence which means particles are not real and since the building blocks of the universe are not real the universe itself is not real an amazing and mind blowing proof and there is something even more amazing and mind blowing in this discovery which no one is talking about it is like an elephant in the room if universe is not real what makes it real what brings things into existence an observer the countless stars the galaxies the infinite space between them all this brought into existence by the act of observation this is an even bigger revelation isn't it who exactly is this observer what is the nature of this observer what is the power of this observer that gives reality to unreal things how does the act of observation bring things into existence what is consciousness science is just scratching the surface of these questions in my next post we'll see how science is trying to answer these questions that's it from me as always thank you for watching please subscribe and press the bell icon for reminders if you like this video please click on the like icon too please share it with your friends and like minded people until next time namaste